Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of the Flakpanzer Jeppard, a legendary self-propelled anti-aircraft gun that's been making headlines for its incredible performance, even decades after it was first introduced. If you're into military technology, Cold War history, or just love seeing a classic weapon system prove its worth in modern conflicts, you're in for a real treat. The Gepard, which means cheetah in German, is a beast of a machine, built on the chassis of the Leopard 1 tank and armed with twin 35mm Orlikon cannons that can shred low-flying threats like drones, helicopters, and aircraft with pinpoint precision. This isn't just some relic of the past, it's a highly mobile, radar-guided powerhouse that's been turning heads especially in recent conflicts like the Russo-Ukrainian War, where it's become a go-to for taking out drones and loitering munitions. So, let's buckle up and explore everything about the Gepard, from its cutting-edge capabilities to its storied history, and throw in some fun facts that'll make you appreciate why this Cold War-era system is still a star on the battlefield. The Gepard was developed by West Germany in the 1960s to counter the growing threat of Soviet low-flying aircraft and helicopters, like the fearsome Mi-24 Hind during the height of the Cold War. Built by Krauss Maffei Wegmann, it entered service in 1976 and quickly became a cornerstone of North Atlantic Treaty Organization air defense, serving Germany, Belgium, and the Netherlands, with exports to countries like Brazil, Chile, Jordan, and Romania. What makes the Gepard so special is its combination of mobility, firepower, and advanced targeting systems. At its core, it's based on a modified Leopard 1 chassis, powered by an 830 horsepower MTU MB838 diesel engine that lets it hit speeds up to 40 miles per hour and cover 340 miles, making it agile enough to keep up with armored units. The real magic, though, lies in its two man turret, which houses those twin 35mm Orlikon KDA autocannons. Each cannon fires at 550 rounds per minute, giving a combined rate of 1,100 rounds per minute, and can hit targets up to 5.5 kilometers away with a muzzle velocity of 1,440 meters per second. That's enough to turn drones, cruise missiles, or even light armored vehicles into Swiss cheese. The Gepard carries 640 anti-aircraft rounds and 40 anti-tank rounds, with options like high-explosive incendiary and frangible armor piercing, discarding sabot rounds for maximum versatility. Its radar system is where things get really high-tech for a system designed in the 1960s. The S-band search radar, mounted on a retractable arm at the turret's rear, scans a 15-kilometer radius, while the Kuban tracking radar at the front locks onto targets with precision so sharp, a former commander claimed it could track birds. These radars, paired with a digital fire control computer, allow the Gepard to detect, track, and engage multiple targets simultaneously, even in tough conditions. The Home Foreign Identification System ensures it doesn't shoot down friendly aircraft, and the crew, consisting of a driver, commander, and gunner, can switch to a backup optical sighting system for passive targeting if needed. Upgrades over the years, like the Jephard 1A2, added laser rangefinders and advanced hit efficiency and destruction rounds, which release a cloud of 152 tungsten sub-projectiles to create a deadly barrier against drones and munitions. This makes it especially effective against modern threats like the Iranian-made Shahed-136 drones used in Ukraine, where the Gepard has been a game-changer. Some sources have called it a drone killer, with Ukrainian forces praising its reliability and cost-effectiveness compared to missile-based systems as autocannons don't burn through expensive ammunition like surface-to-air missiles do. In Ukraine, the Gepard has been a standout since Germany began donating them in 2022, with over 50 delivered by 2023, including ex qatari units repurchased for the effort. These systems have protected critical infrastructure and cities like Kiev from drone swarms, with one documented case showing a Gepard destroying a Shahed drone in seconds. Its mobility, thanks to the Leopard 1 chassis, lets it reposition quickly to counter threats, and its armor protects against small arms and artillery splinters, making it a robust asset on the move. Fun fact, the Dutch version, called the Cheetah or CA-1, uses a different radar setup with a bar-shaped search radar, and it's so iconic that the nickname Cheetah stuck even in official use. Another cool tidbit, the Gepard was tested with Stinger missile launchers in the 1980s, but budget constraints kept that upgrade from going mainstream. 
Despite being phased out by Germany in 2010 for systems like the Weasel 2, the Gepard's recent success in Ukraine has sparked talk of its enduring value. Some sources estimate a single salvo costs thousands, but it's still cheaper than firing missiles at low-cost drones. The system's versatility shines through with its ability to engage ground targets using armor-piercing rounds and its smoke grenade dischargers and nuclear, biological, and chemical protection make it a self-sufficient fortress. The Gepard's production run saw 570 units built, with 420 for Germany alone, and its robust design means many are still in great condition, like the ex qatar units that looked fresh off the assembly line. However, ammunition supply has been a challenge as Switzerland, the primary producer of 35mm rounds, initially blocked exports to Ukraine due to neutrality policies, though other sources like Poland and Norway have stepped in. Looking ahead, while newer systems like Rheinmetall's Sky Ranger are emerging, the Gepard's blend of firepower, mobility, and proven technology keeps it relevant. It's a testament to German engineering that a 50-year-old system is still outshining newer gear, with some sources noting it's the most reliable German weapon in Ukraine's arsenal. Whether it's hammering drones or supporting infantry, the Gepard proves that sometimes the classics are hard to beat. So what do you all think about the Flakpanzer Gepard? Have you seen any cool stories about it in action? Or maybe you're a history buff with thoughts on its Cold War roots? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, share it with your friends who love military technology, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel for more deep dives into the machines that shape the battlefield. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.